Oh no, folks, look at that. Nice little Murray cod, nice and dark. Typical of these upland waterways where the water's really clear. There he is, lovely dark Murray cod, only small. I'll put him back, you watch him swim away. Here he goes. Straight down under all them logs. Now, I said to Brett, I can guarantee there's gonna be a cod under here. My words were, if I don't catch a cod under this log, I'll eat the bloody lure myself. But in saying that, I think I say that about every log jam. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I have the camera for a second. Yeah, sure. Thank you, Mr. Corker. Brett's my trusty cameraman. Have a look at how clear the water is, and look at that log jam. You can see there, there's a log running in from that way, there's a log running in from that way, and there's a heap of branches and stuff piled up. If you get a really good quality encyclopedia and Google the word faggot, it will tell you that a faggot is a pile of sticks. It's just like that. And it's right under those really thick piles of sticks and amongst these log jams that the cod come from. I prefer the upstream side. Quite often there's a nice sort of crevice or open area on the downstream side, but I prefer the upstream side. Log jam, log snag pile in the log jam, current coming downstream, cast in front of it and you just can't go wrong. And you'll also notice today with this video that I'm only filming the releases. And that is because some lard head left his HD VCS video camera sunglasses at home. So if you want to watch the hookups, well, too bad, too sad. Is that right, Brett? Yeah, I've got, yeah, I, need, I missed your hookup, so I've got the... <laughs> Now we're going to see, uh, in a little while, I'll show you the release of Brett's 110 centimetre cod. He's just got to go in the corner and catch it. <laughs> Look at this for a spot. That's a scum layer on the surface there where all the film and the grime and the dust and everything washes down and builds up on the upstream side of logs. That particular spot there is not deep. In fact, it's probably only 18 inches deep, but that does not mean there won't be a fish sitting under it. I've just had a few casts and I didn't catch a fish. That still doesn't mean there's not a fish sitting under it. They could be sitting there and not hungry. They don't always eat. But these are my favourite sort of spots. I love these sort of scum layer type places. I reckon they're just wonderful. They provide like a little table for the fish to hide under. And when I see scum layers like that, I just cannot walk past without making a cast. It would appear as though Mr. Corker has just caught a fish while I was dicking around with my phone replying to a text message. <laughs> what are we? Oh, look at this. I'll just zoom in on him, mate. He's a nice, magnificent, look at that lovely trout cod. Isn't he pretty? Wow. What did you catch him on, Brad? Uh, very ugly. I call it the ugly spinnerbait. The ugly spinnerbait. <laughs> Multicolour. It's a homemade spinner bait that's been pimped up with a great big bright orange willow blade. Do you want to hold him up, mate? No, we'll have a good look at him. Brett said to me, do you want to have first cast in there, Robbie? He's a very generous character. And I said, no thanks, Brett. I'm on the phone. This lure should just pop straight out. And here he goes. Look at that. <laughs> Take off into that uh, lovely clear water out in the middle of the river there. there he came out of some shallow water over there. It's probably not even two feet deep. But there's a lot of snags there. And you reckon he was sitting on the upstream side of them snags, Brett? Yeah, he was up. Yep. He Just in that, and smashed it. in that little corner over there with the current belt and full bore into it, delivering all the food. So the snags are where the fish can hide and the current delivers the food to them. Is that right, Brett? Yep. Well said, Robbie. You are, you are a legend. <laughs> You're the man. <laughs> oh, Brett has just been absolutely whacked off the surface. Not a massive fish, but gee, he's a nice fish. Yeah, nice. What do you mean, not bad, Brett? Look at the size of that. 55. 55? Yeah. Mate, he'd be up in the 60s. Now, before anyone growls about the fish being on the dirt, he's on the wet, cool, wet cold. sand. Cold. <laughs> We've been doing this for years. The fish isn't going to die. Yeah, he's actually freezing cold. Brett had just said we'll get one tonight on the surface and then look what he just done. 
give it a wash. Righty, eh, Brett? What a magnificent Murray cod on the Coolabung cod walker. What size is that? That is a small one. About the 90 mil by the looks of it. Coolabung cod walker, just as the last rays of sun are leaving the tops of the, the tallest gum trees. So, not quite on sunset. Well done, Brett. Thanks, mate. Okay, put this bad boy back. That's keen to go. Whoa. Oh, oh. Thanks, well done, buddy. Thanks, mate. Okay, lovely work.